In terms of doing things with the Pali High community, Rose doesn't stop. She has an amazing ability to inspire kids, to teach kids, to have kids enjoy learning. I'm actually an alumnus of, of Palisades Charter High School. I can still remember vividly Rose teaching in the class, or Mama G, just how animated and passionate and how much she truly loved what she was doing. I'm on fire, they know it. <laughs> We're gonna cover a lot today. <laughs> They say, Mama G, you're on fire, so I got a fire hat to prove that I'm on fire. They were on fire. When I first came here, I, n I didn't like reading at all. I was asleep, and then slow, gradually, I kind of just like woke up. She made me wake up. Wake up, booby, wake up, booby. And I woke up, and I started reading the books, and I started getting in tune with the class itself. And then now I love reading. She made me actually like learn how to properly read books, to look beyond the words written, think of the major theme, the lessons built in the books. I want them to enjoy it. I say, savor. Savor your books. She definitely tells us to be ourselves and to be free thinkers, not to conform to anything. Don't be afraid to speak up when you have an opinion. Do you think Big Daddy tolerated Skip? Did, or did he just accept him? The interaction of myself and the kids, we don't always agree, but I learn from them and they learn from me. They take a very serious attitude toward it, and they all love the books. They inspire me, always. I really feel as though I've connected to her. She lets us talk about anything we want. We get to have controversial topics and books. She's not only a teacher, but she's a friend. She is there for everyone. She's so proud of us, and I think we all can see it. You're going to miss me. We're going to miss Tomorrow, you, my success is when I get letters from 40 years ago, 30 years ago, like I did yesterday. He's 56 years old, thanking me for the love of literature. He waited a long time. I tell the kids not to wait that long. <laughs> what I admire about Miss Gilbert is that she is always ready. She is always on the go. Even though she's almost 90, I've never seen a teacher with more enthusiasm. I tell the teacher if they're gonna start, one, they must be enthusiastic about their work. And two, they must expect to work hard. It's just amazing at her age to have so much energy and so much enthusiasm and so much love for her students. She has the best memory of anyone I know. Michael and I made a poster for Mama G to remember us next year. And this poster... Well, not only next year, but for years. For years ago. after. She knows students. She knows why they act the way they do. She's seen everything. She's been through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. She's seen it all. She's had celebrities in her class. She taught J.J. Abrams, all kinds of powerful people in today's world. And maybe she was the one that really inspired them to do what they did. And she also taught Frank Sinatra Jr. while he was, you know, when he got kidnapped. And I thought that was an amazing story. These are the first teachers who opened up the school. I'm the only one who's left. They've all gone or they've passed away. She is so full of energy. I think it is an inspiration to all of us to see what we could do with our lives. It shows us all that just because you're old doesn't mean you have to be lethargic. It means that you can do more than you've ever done before. I don't think too many people look at Rose and go, I'm going to be doing that at that age. I really think most of us just sort of stand back and go, wow, she's just something else. I am on my third generation. A woman met me and said in the bank, I was teaching her great-great-grandchildren. It goes on and on, and I love it. It inspires me because they give me so much. She has served as definitely an inspiration to me to continue teaching and to continue with my passion. She absolutely loves it, and you can see it every single day. Every day is a new experience at her class. I love it. And when I go to quit, oh, I'll be 89. I don't want to quit. Should I quit? She's not ready to retire. I mean, she's at the top of her game. Work, work, work. But it's uh, enjoyable. She's been teaching for so many years. Every single one of those years, she's influenced people and really made a difference on people's lives, and I think it's inspiring. It is amazing to see the influence that she has in her classrooms, the respect her students have for her, and the color and life she brings to her classroom and to their education. Thank you, Mama G. If I'm going to live, I'm going to live. I'm not going to live dying, as many people my age do. So I want to live it to the hill.